Hello tech students, today your lesson is called nested loops in maze. Your goals for the lesson are I can break complex tasks into smaller repeatable sections. I can recognize large repeated patterns are made from smaller repeated patterns. And I can identify the benefits of using a loop structure instead of manual repetition. The one that I want you to focus on is the second one. Uh, in this lesson, you're going to be recognizing that smaller patterns make bigger patterns. You know that a loop is the action of doing something over and over again. But I, I want to ask you, what do loops do? Do you remember? Do you remember also how do we use loops? Let's go to code.org and I want you to uh, click on the big red button that says continue with Google. This is going to be your lesson. You are going to be helping the small bee to get all the nectar. In later exercises, you are going to be helping the plants versus zombie, uh, zombie to get the sunflower. But let's focus on this one. First, I want you to notice the instructions. Help the bee collect all of the nectar. And also, I want you to notice the workspace. We only have, uh, we can only use five blocks. So how can I help the bee get the nectar? So I have to move forward and here. So I have to move forward again. And then I can get the nectar of the first flower. Then I move forward and get the nectar of the second flower. If I do this, you will see that I have used six out of the five. So I cannot code like this. So I have to look at this. Where is the pattern? Where is the repetition of steps? Ah, I found it. It says move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar. So I can delete the second part. I can put a loop structure and says, I'm going to be repeating this two times. If I run it, my bee should get the nectar. So let's move to puzzle number two. Puzzle number two, also it says, help the bee collect all of the nectar. Before we go to code, what shape do we notice? Okay, I can see a square. Can you find the pattern? I can see a pattern here. I have a blank flower flower, blank flower flower, blank flower flower. Also, I can know that this part is exactly like say, the same as the previous exercise. So I can say, okay, let's move forward, repeat two times, move forward, get nectar. I'm here. What do I need to do now? I, I can use 15 blocks, so I can easily do turn right. And then I can repeat again because I have a forward pattern pattern. Okay, so I can say forward, repeat two times, move forward, get nectar. Then I need to turn right. So I'm here. So once again, I have to move forward repeat two times, move forward, get nectar. And there we go, we use the 15 blocks. If I run it, my bee is going to get all of the nectar. Before we move to level three, let's stay here for a little bit. So click on replay. Can you imagine doing this with eight blocks? Instead of using 15 blocks, I can use it with eight. I can do it with eight. So let me put this away. To 
do this, I can just do a bigger loop and say, so, okay, we're going to be repeating three times. Move forward, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, and turn right. I have eight blocks. If I run it, my bee is still going to get all of the nectar. Don't go further, we're going to still working on puzzle two. Can you imagine doing this with seven blocks? We can still using less, less blocks. So I'm going to be putting these I'm going to be erasing the one with eight blocks. And I'm going to go back to the one that I have 15 blocks. If you notice it, once we were coding it, we have the same pattern going again three times. Okay, so I have this one says move forward, repeat two times, move forward, connect and move, turn right. Then I have the second one, it says move forward, repeat two times, move forward, connect and turn right. And then I have another one, move forward, repeat two times, move forward, get nectar. So how can I solve this with seven blocks? Okay, if you count these blocks, we have one, two, three, four, five. When wrong, counts as six. So which one will be my block number seven? I have three patterns that are exactly the same. So maybe I can do a loop. I can erase all of that and say, how many times do I have to repeat that pattern? I have to repeat it one, two, three times. Do you think that's going to work? Let's find out. Okay, don't go forward yet. <laughs> this is an example of a nested loop. It's a bigger loop that inside of it has a bunch of coding. Or we can think about it like the bigger loop or the nested loop is hugging the code that is inside. And you already knew that we can have loops inside loops. So this bigger block is the nested loop and these ones are smaller repeatable patterns. Okay, so this is my small pattern. This is my big pattern. Let's go to number four. You can skip the video number three. So let's go to number four. Number four, uh, what you need to do is to look at the structure that you have down there. What do you think is going to happen when you click run? Is the V going to move forward and get the nectar only one time? Is the V going to get only two units of nectar? Or is the V going to get all of the nectar? Please don't choose le le letter D. Think for a little bit about A, B, or C. Choose one letter and then click on run. Ready? Number five, I'm going to be, this is the last one that I'm going to be helping you with it. Okay. Let's think for a moment here. What shape do we see? Okay. I can see a square and that square has flowers with nectar, with one unit of nectar. So let's break this puzzle into smaller chunks. What's the basic, basic instruction that the bee needs to do? The bee needs to get the nectar. How do I get the nectar? So we get the nectar. Let's put the code there, the bad block there. You can also notice that I can only use six blocks and I have two move forward and two loops. So I cannot use more than that. 
So I need to get nectar, but I also need to move forward. So I can either put it here or put it down here. It's up to you. So get nectar, move forward. How many flowers do I have? So I can get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward. That is not correct. So let's say get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward. So how many times do I have to repeat it? You have to repeat these sides three times. If I do four, this is what happens. Okay, because I cannot move forward one more time. So it's only three times. Move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, and then move forward. Okay, so I'm down, I'm here. So what do I need to do? I need to go down. To go down, I need to turn right. And then I have a repeated pattern. Get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, turn right. Get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, turn right. Get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, turn right. So how many times do I have to repeat this? How many sides does my square have? That is correct. I can only use it four times. So my nested loop is going to hog the rest of the instructions. Let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, so continue coding on your own. Do exactly as I did with this last puzzle. Think about the shape. How many patterns do you see it? Do you notice how many squares are, is, are the same size? How many steps do I have to do? Just break it in smaller chunks. Look at the big figure, but then, then go to the smallest repeated pattern. If you have questions, send me a Hangouts message, an email, and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. So have fun coding, and I will see you soon. Bye.